Right. So how do we actually create volumes in MapR? So I will show you how to create one through MCS. So you go to MapR FS, click volumes, and you click new volume. So I'm just gonna create a new volume called sales. And the mount path, I'm just gonna give it a slash data slash sales. And I'm gonna make the accountable entity as MapR, but if you're Cluster is secured and you are AD connected, which means you can actually select a bunch of users or group from here and actually assign who is the accountable entity for this. And these are the directory permissions. By default, it just takes triple seven, so you can actually leave it. So it actually shows you um, the default permissions and the volume permissions is given to uh, user map R. And this is the usage tracking where you can actually configure the advisory coda and hard coda. This is where in the replication tab, you can actually configure the number of replications the data has to be has to go through and also the number of replication for the metadata. And if you want to enable auditing, you can actually enable auditing here so you can actually get audit logs on who reads and what who writes into the, uh, the volume. So this is for the data access. So this is usually given as P and P just for public access. But if you want to do, do the volume lockdown, you can actually specify an ACL, which contains an user or the combination of user and groups. So I just go back and then I click OK. And then it'll just show volume creator and actually shows you um, the sales. If you look at it, the, it actually shows you the mount path and who is the creator and all the details that actually put it in here. And you can actually verify by going to map our CLI uh, volume list minus columns. Uh, I just want names. You can actually type names. Okay. So let's look at Hadoop FS minus LS slash data. So this actually shows I've got three uh, mount paths. Um, I think I have to give volume name. Yep, so it actually gives you the volume name. And I think there are a few more parameters actually can actually gives you, I think there is a um, CR path. Um, path. Just gonna do map R C L I and then see what's the parameter for this. So you can actually look at it, it's a volume, so volume create. So these are the parameters, you can actually look at it. So yeah, R supply volume. Okay, so if you go on the top, So it's for create. Uh, it's for modify. So list minus columns. Okay, by default, you can actually say all. All right, so it's gonna JSON. All right, so it actually gives you all those information. Um, so I will show you what's happened. I'll do the MFS. Tell us. 
slash data. So I'm looking at only those directories that got all the volumes that's been mounted. So here we can actually see a bunch of parameters here like Z, which is which shows that's um, LKZ compression and it is uncompressed and it is also unencrypted. So that's what those two U means. And it actually gives you what are the um, permissions um, that got on here. If you see any plus signs here, which actually shows there is some kind of a, an ACL that's been set. So let's go and do something really good. So that's Hadoop FS minus LH slash data. Oops, maybe I should say data. So there is two, there's there's different in command. For example, if you do Hadoop FS minus LS slash data, it actually gives you all this information about that particular um, amount path. But if you do Hadoop MFS, it actually gives you a bunch of other parameters um, as well. And Hadoop MFS actually shows you whether there is any ACL that's been set. Um, 